In this video, we are going to set up the pie burn rotary. Now, before I start, I lowered my bed all the way down. I removed the honeycomb tray and some of the blades, and then I put in my rotary. Here I'm just measuring to make sure that the rotary is perfectly straight. Next, we're gonna place our tumbler. Lift up the lever, put it inside the cup, making sure the front end is all the way to the top, resting on the big rollers, and then we're gonna slide this underneath the back. This has a little red knob that you just wanna tighten up once that's hitting the edge of the back of the tumbler. And then this lever here, push it against the back and tighten it so the tumbler is nice and snug. Next, we're going to level it. Place your level on the tumbler and then use the dial to raise or lower the end of the tumbler to get it level. We're gonna watch the bubble in the middle to make sure it's nice and level. Next, we're going to measure the center of the tumbler. Make sure you center it in the engravable area. I like to put a piece of tape here so I can easily remove it. Mark the center, and that is where our red dot is gonna be. Now, it's time to move the gantry. Using the arrows, we're going to bring it forward and over, getting it as close to that mark as possible. And now we're going to set our focus. I like to start out with where I normally focus it at, and then I'm going to defocus it two millimeters. Now, I like to adjust the speed down to about in between three and five to slow it down a bit so I can get the gantry and the red dot right over my center mark. So feel free to adjust this if necessary. Just make sure you put it back to about 300 when you're done so it doesn't move super, super slow after that. Once you have it set, then it's time to set the origin by pressing the origin button. Now you can go ahead and plug in your rotary. Line it up, push it in, and tighten the screw. Now we're ready to go over to Lightburn. Now, in order to connect your rotary to the machine, what I'm going to do is go to Edit and Machine Settings. Then I wanna click on Load File, select my Mira 9 settings, click Open, click Write, and then OK. To double check to make sure the rotary was enabled, click on Laser Tools and Rotary Setup, Enable rotary should be green as well as the roller bubble checked. Click OK. After I uploaded my SVG, I made sure that it is rotated clockwise. I have my settings at 400 speed, 45 power, and 400 LPI. Then I click OK. And then we want to go to the start position and choose user origin and make sure the center bubble is marked because we want it to start in the middle of our design. Then we can go ahead and send it to the machine, give it a name and click OK. On the machine, we're going to select file and then we'll be able to see our file at the top. Click enter and you can see the design there. Now, once it is on there, we should be able to go to frame and watch it frame in our design. Making sure that the design is within the engravable part of our tumbler and exactly where we want it. It should line right back up with the beginning, and now you can carefully remove the tape before you engrave. Go ahead and lower your lid and press start. Now 
To get the machine back to the flat lay settings, we're going to go to edit machine settings. We're going to click, click load file, flat settings, open. You're going to click right and OK. Now to check it, we're going to go to laser tools, rotary setting and see the enable rotary is red. Click OK. Now you can go ahead and unplug your rotary, unscrew it, unplug it, and then this is important to make sure you press reset before you shut off your machine. This will reset the machine. It'll say resetting on your keypad and the gantry will go back to the starting position. Now you can bring your tumbler in to wash it. I like LA Awesome with a magic eraser. Give it a good scrub down. You will need some elbow grease for this step. Go ahead and scrub it very, very well. Rinse it off, pat it dry, and there you have a perfect tumbler.